Hi there, these comments are for KJ. This is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. I'm getting ready to listen to a speaking practice test that you sent me yesterday. So the topic is, some people believe that primary schools should no longer teach children how to write by hand and instead you spend time teaching them how to type on a computer. Other people believe that it is still important for schools to teach children to have good handwriting. Which point of view do you agree with? Explain why. All right, I have the speaking rubrics here. And let's get your uh, response. Okay, here we go. So let's see what your opinion is. I believe that elementary schools should teach children handwriting instead of typing okay. because it will help them build their fine motor skills. For example, when my daughter was learning to use the pencil, she would explore different ways to hold it by controlling the small muscles in her fingers. And on top of that, she was probably trying to build the connection between her brain and hands. In addition, there are too many opportunities to for children to learn typing outside of schools for instance I master my yeah I, I think in that case you want to say there are so many opportunities not too many because two is like it's more of a negative connotation for example the homework is too difficult for me to complete which means I cannot do it or this homework is too difficult or is so difficult means I'm still able to do it but it's hard so I think in that case, I would say there are so many opportunities to work on the Okay, let's keep going. There are too many opportunities to, for children to learn typing outside of schools. So just, yeah, just say there's so many and that makes it, I think it fits the context better for what you're trying to do. For instance, I master my typing skills by communicating with my friends online. We spend a lot of time over the internet discussing homeworks or just hanging out. Therefore, there's no need for schools to spend time teaching children how to type. That's a good one. Wow. It's, I like how you just have that, that one idea in the beginning and then you present your one example to illustrate that. Let's listen to it one more time. I believe that elementary schools should teach children handwriting instead of typing okay. because it will help them build their fine motor skills. All right. For example, when my daughter was learning to use the pencil, she would explore different and pronounce it a little more clearly. Learning, when she was learning to use the pencil, ways to hold it by controlling the small muscles in her fingers. Okay. And on top of that, she was probably trying to build the connection between her brain and hands. In addition. There are too many opportunities to, for children to learn typing outside of schools. For instance, I master my typing skills by communicating with my friends online. We spend a lot of time over the internet discussing homework or just hanging out. Therefore, there's no need for schools to spend time teaching children how to type. It's good. Let me look at, at the rubrics here now. Let's look at the five. I mean, the four here. I, th I think this is a really good response here. Response fulfills demands of the task with most minor lapses in completeness. It's highly intelligible, exhibits sustained coherent discourse. Yes, you did that. You have a well paced flow, of fluid expression. Speech is clear. It may include minor lapses or minor difficulties with pronunciation or intonation patterns, which do not affect overall intelligibility. Yes, I understand everything that you, you just said. Response demonstrates effective use of grammar and vocabulary. It exhibits a high degree of automaticity with good control of basic and complex structures. Yes, it seemed like the, the grammar and the vocabulary that you used was natural and you didn't have a lot of unnecessary pauses and hesitations as you were trying to complete your response. 
some minor or systematic errors are noticeable but do not obscure meaning you had the problem I think with the two verses of so that was it so I think you did well in that area topic development response is sustained and sufficient to the task it is generally well developed and coherent relationship between ideas are clear or a clear progression of ideas you did that so this was a very strong response I hate to give you 30 I don't usually give 30 when I do these because a TOEFL is just so so difficult uh, I'm gonna put you at 28 to 30 on this speaking practice test so youtubers what do you guys think would you give this a score of four I'm gonna score it between 28 and 30 points do you guys agree or disagree with this score uh, put your comments below the video